I've liked seeing him perform at um, KIT and other events. I think he got 17th at KIT and just does really well at other events there. And dude plays Falco. Oh, Falco on a Diddy Kong. Woo! Very interesting. Okay, but we are getting to see Boogie War? Oh, we got Boogie War here. Actually, not, I didn't actually see it in the back. So, anyone doesn't know Boogie War? I think he's number two in uh, Jones War, actually. Yes. So, really good Diddy right there. I remember seeing him get, I'm pretty sure it was like, it was either fifth or second at SpotCon in his type of results. So, really great Diddy. Like the movement. And we're getting to see a redo of this character. So, hang on tight, y'all. You know, a lot of things in this matchup, it's kind of just like, who's going to be an advantage the longest? Because mm -hmm. especially with uh, Falco, going to have a little harder time getting in with neutral. But really, these combos are just long strings. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, already right, we can see those great combos that Mugurai likes to do. And I'm pretty sure whether this will be facing off against the first seed. So this isn't, I don't think this is what is qualified just yet for top 32. So right now, we're just seeing a really sticky situation with that banana out. Uh, a little bit greedy with those S-Masters there. Ooh. We try to find that stock a little bit too early. And I always say before, you gotta let the game come to you. You can't just be feeding too much about the game. A lot of pressure on the I'm, anything out this up. I'm loving the way that Dinko is playing so patient around the situation. Because one thing I've always had a little bit of an issue with when I've been commentating Dinko, sometimes he overextends. And like he sees an option and just says, I gotta take it immediately. And that sometimes bites him in the ass at times. I'm liking the way that he started to play this patiently and we really started to play the pace better. Really good. We're just seeing another. Ooh! S Smash going to catch that landing there. Now it's going to be basically even game at this point. Ooh. Here's a go. Falco combos. Plus, press plus to skip the cutscene. <laughs> it seems we skipped it right there. Oh. Part two. Oh, into that up end in there. Really trying to hard read with these S Smashes here. It's I feel like you could get a lot more percent if you just kept it safe. Yeah. We really want a lot of those big hitters. And I know a lot of players, we've been always saying before, the important thing about this game is having confidence in your reads and be able to say, like, I know you're going to be here, exactly here. Uh, okay, hey. there's somebody has up. I see you, Dinkle. At first, you don't succeed. Try, try again. But yeah, I think that's going to be a little bit of an issue with Mugua. A little bit of those people aren't watching their opponent. They aren't seeing how they're playing in those close range games. So that is a big read coming in for Dinkle. That's to be a punish. Oh, no punish. Oh, no. Slightly misplaced at SMAN. Now he had the rage, but not quite. Slightly out of percent there. See that banana coming into play? Really putting a lot of pressure on the foul here. Both Ooh. side he's on his face. Gonna keep getting called out there with that nice force smash. He can't just be recovered like that. Both of those two just got punished for just side being aggressively on stage. They're not watching to the pace of their opponent. They're only doing their own game. Oh. Looking for the nice thing. See who you are can answer back. Yeah, those combos to drag down. Honestly, if he brought to the second blast out of the head, that might have been a stop. That been up till up there easily. Oh, monkey flip gonna catch that jump there. Oh, that again, that side B. Again, it's like you see the read and you want to take it instantly, but you aren't thinking about your opponent. You have to play like tier three chess when you're playing that conditioning. You're still gonna get the grab. Double jump. Come on, to miss the up there. Gas attack gonna be setting yourself off stage. High recovery. Okay. Not able to catch on to that one. But honestly, an up tilt should be able to confirm to up air at this percent. Absolutely. But at the same time, Banana will probably do the stop. Roll out, Reed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh <the laughs> wow! And that is going to be. That was the one. weirdest combo I've ever seen. F tilt, side B, up air. And yeah, both of them going to say, like, yeah, yeah, you got that. You got that. Absolutely. I see you. I, I understand. Much can do in that situation. That, that's definitely a crazy situation, though. Biggest thing with regards to that game, both of them are kind of recovering too haphazardly. They just kind of think like, oh, I got burst in on stage instantly. And I honestly think it's like one of the things where you say like, oh, you had an idea of like, what's the best recovery option? What's the worst recovery option? Sometimes people are actually covering the best recovery option always. So you have to start mixing up those timings. Yeah. And all we're going to see a switch here to Sora. Okay. So I was talking with Elox, who's like a good T a TO around uh, Arkansas. He did say that Mukiwa has been playing a little bit of Sora recently. So I can't definitely see how it goes with this, this game. Yeah. So we did see Sora a little bit earlier on stream with uh, Bakibaz versus Data. It's like a very good turtle character. Can really catch up to your approaches with bait and punish gameplay. So I want to see how Mukiwar uses his own playstyle to find his own options. And you're going to see just Mukiwar really catching in these drip, this DI in. 
So the sword's gonna get a lot of free percent here. Okay, catch that, that weed. Let's say stuff off stage. Not able to get too much there. Love that. Off stage two. Like that recovery too as well. Will be a little bit harder for Diggle to at least get some of those combos off. You only got that one blast zone. And I think that's just a good way for this character to turtle and camp you out. Might be through the lights. Look for the up tilt. I think he had idea where he was going to roll in, but just didn't commit to it. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of fear coming out. Ooh, that back is strong. Don't recover high. Okay, you're about to lose your life there. And you oh, lost your life right absolutely. there. Absolutely. Landing on that platform just getting easily shocked by the Sora. I'll finish the up to it's like dodging a car crash and then getting <laughs> shot instantly afterwards. <laughs> so like, yeah, you might as well have just took the car crash at that point. Exactly. That's oh. like Final Destination. Your death was insured. <laughs> so you gotta be careful of those recoveries. Ooh. Nice anti-air coming in from Dinkle with that up smash. Nice floaty sword is not gonna be able to really get out of that situation. Yep. So let's start seeing a little bit more of those baits and the guns under those jumps and aerial approaches. Seeing this continual drag down to the floor there. Oh, on the ice. Let's see yeah. That. Because the thing about four there is it's not the safest move on shield. It's like, I'm pretty sure like minus nine. But it's just because of those multi-hits, it catches so many people on reaction. Oh! I'm out of shield. Both of these players love to jump at disadvantage. Both of them have like characters to move around with. So both of them know how they want to play and how the opponent knows they want to play. And they just condition each other perfectly. Look at these combos. These strings. Absolutely, incredible stuff. Should I say the commentator special of, oh, that was sick, but clean. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I feel like enough commentators have already done that. So I'm going to just say that has been some nice-ass gameplay coming in from Mugiwar. The soaring pick is definitely working out well. Oh, really walling out here? Good spacing on Mugiwar. I think the was actually a really nice pick. Again. It's been a nice turnaround from the first game. Yeah. And honestly, being able to take it to Smash Bill 2 was able to work off well. Really good stage to like have Zodas at least bait out approaches. Again, catching that jump. Yeah. Take this. situation here. Oh! oh. I mean, trying to catch that jump from Legend with the up smash, but unfortunately, it's gonna cost the game. It's crazy because both of them know that both of them like to jump. It's like both of them have been getting a, like up smashes or up Bs off those situations. And I think it's now like they're starting to play the mental game with each other. Like, do you think I'm gonna jump here? Yeah. You think I'm gonna jump here? I'm not. Well, <laughs> you think I won't jump here? I will. It's yeah. like so many levels of mental gameplay happening right here. So I do want to see how this time it changes up. But yep, game three scenario. What can you do? Yeah. I honestly say a stage I usually would take. So if you can, Town City. Falco does super well on this type of stage. If you're not able to get that, I would not go Battlefield. I think that stage is just perfect for planking. I think that stage is perfect for them. So he's going to be taking it to Smashville again. Back to Smashville. Yeah, likely Town City was banned there. And probably just saying, I've got to run this back. I just got to change up my game. Now, I think this might be just a favorite stage for Deco as well. If you like do ban Town City. Because when I did play, when I came to uh, Middle Tennessee one time for Phase of Craze, I actually was able to play Dinkle and Bracket. And I did always ban Town City. And he brought me twice to the stage. And I was a little bit confused because Inkling on the uh, Smashville is this godlike. And it just, maybe it's just a case where you're like, personally, I like the stage. Personally, even if it's like a character point, I just have to play to the pace that I want to do. But here's the thing, you also have to factor in your opponent. And with a strong start from Boogie War, I'm not sure if this mindset's going to work out. Yeah, oh, the factor at the bottom of that class Really not looking like such a strong shape here. But let's see if there can be a comeback. Okay, I actually see someone double check me in the chat. This is the win side top 32 qualifier. So, okay. Oh, oh yeah, these are the fourth and five seats of the pool. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. I hope they wouldn't just be playing with each other. Right? Right, the Ooh, that was not good, DI. You got lucky. You got lucky again. <laughs> like that down there, that forward there should have connected. Okay, oh, the noobs. Uh, back here. Okay, not the worst game in the world, but I think Deagle has to start at least start to slow this game down and start to mix up the way he plays at disadvantage. We got a combo. Plus, plus two escape. Not quite, but escaping was 57%. With those aerials, we just kind of create space. 
really set up the situation so nice punishes. Ooh, that was definitely the dub tilt there. We got to escape with his life. Yeah, I think both players are really starting to respect each other in their offense here because it's just really slowed down in comparison to like say that first game. Yeah, both of them were kind of just like running in, broad dogging, and just doing all that right thing right. Ooh! Ooh. Love you holding down too. Yeah, Not gonna be able to do the stock right here. Big R can't get it. If he gets an F2 right here. Oh, up B. Oh, he held down. So that's gonna be able to take that stock too as well. One more stock at Booty War. We have another Arizona representative in this top 32. Ooh, real frisky with that down. I it almost cost him the Ooh. Again, I said before, one thing I don't really like about Jekyll, sometimes he overextends too much. He commits too much to situations where he should be playing safer. Ooh, oh. Just to oh. And these combos continue. Oh. I actually could have just seen that town turn around. Oh, the clank with the up smash. Dinkle's fisting too much with his up, up smash. And yeah. just because of that, that hitbox doesn't work. You can't still get like up tilt into up air. Doesn't matter. Good. Get the side beat Fantastic into back air. This is not impossible. But with the way that Mugiwa is playing, this is looking unlikely. Very. He's really coming out of the things. Oh, you got to grab here. Ooh. Oh, the drag down with the fair. Oh, he got the drag down too. too. 70% just like that. Answer back. Now we have a very even game. Red the roll! That was the game, actually. Oh, see? Oh, oh my god. Waited for the air dodge, but unable to get that grab there. The yeah, oh, oh, like that. Oh, no. Gonna be taking that game, too. That fell as if, like, oh. Diggle started to turn it up. I think he had to read two on that, on that air dodge. If he just, like, committed to it. Yeah. 